Hello and welcome to DocApps Data Protection Restore from Cloud Recording. Uh, today we'll show you how we can perform an out-of-place restore from one farm to another, um, basically restoring right from the cloud. So first we have our AppPoint 2010 farm. We created a basic team site and we also added to this site a subsite called AppPoint. Um, and what we did was in fact create a library and add some documents to it. We also added items to a list and this will allow us on the restore side to assure that we can restore content as well as metadata. We'll also show you how our destination farm looks presently, which is the Microsoft farm. Again, another basic team site uh, with only one subsite. So now let's log into the Doc App system. And I first want to walk you through the steps uh, to create that connection to the cloud. What we will do in the Doc App system is go to the control panel, and from the control panel, device manager will be able to establish our logical device concept. This will allow us to select from a data type and choose cloud storage. And by adding the physical device uh, with the membership account, we will be able to let the system know that this is, uh, in fact, the credentials to save our backup data to. So we'll save our physical device, drag it over into our logical device properties, and we'll also select from our media service tab the media service that we have deployed for this DocEv integration. This media service uh, takes care of running the process to connect to the rack space. So now we're saving this logical device and what I'll show you is what our backup policy looks like. So we already ran the backup for the sake of time into the cloud and here is the plan that we actually selected for our backup. So it is that app point site that we showed you with the subsite. Here from the farm tree you can see that we can select all the content, uh, making it a granular restore, and from the logical device drop down we will select that rack space logical device we created. So now let's log into the rack space cloud with our membership account and look at the backup data files. So our data files will basically show us that we have in fact completed a successful backup and we also see that there is an index file. This will allow DocApp to browse the content of our cloud files. So from the DocApp system we'll go back into the data protection granular restore controller and creating a point in time plan we'll be able to navigate to that backup file. Using a time window uh, we can load the timeline and see all the restore points. In this case we only have one restore point. So now we can use our tree mode to browse the content of our backup file, reading right from the cloud, and seeing all the different con the containers of our backup data. So we can restore a library, a list, or we can restore, in this case, the entire subsite. So from restore settings, we'll perform an out-of-place restore right to the Microsoft farm. And we also see we have an app point farm, so we can perform an uh, intra-farm out-of-place uh, restore if we wanted to. So we're now selecting from the Microsoft farm uh, where we want to out of place restore the subsite to. And this uh, tree control allows us to either create a new subsite, give it a unique name, or basically uh, restore right to the site and create a new subsite called that point subsite. So, and for this example, that's actually what we're going to do. So we'll say OK, click on go, and execute the job. From the lower screen, you'll see the lower uh, end of the screen you'll see the status bar and the job is actually running and so once it completes uh, if all works well we should see our subsite now in the Microsoft farm so let's go back to our SharePoint site the job completed let's load our Microsoft farm and let's perform a quick refresh and if all worked well we should see our app point subsite and in fact we see it here and just to make sure everything came over properly uh, we'll load the, the site and here we have the look and feel and we also have our library with all of the, con uh, the documents and their associated metada metadata. And we also have our list. So this completes our exercise today. Thank you.